I just came back from the land of coffee and beer. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing absolutely fine. So today I'm actually here to tell you seven things you must know before you go to Vietnam. And these are important, huh? So keep up with me till the end. Anyway, let's get started. But before that, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, channel if you still haven't, and comment your thoughts below. Let's get started. Okay, so number one, and the most important one, you gotta be a good bargainer. I mean, seriously, if you don't know the art of bargaining, you must learn it. And whatever they offer there, always go for half the price. Like, tell them half the price, and then they will also agree to it. Trust me, they will. And it has always happened with me in every shop that I go to. And street shopping is like a must there. So don't forget to do that when you go there. Especially pick up um, souvenirs, hats. You have to pick up t-shirts. They're pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so coming to the number two. One, language is a big barrier. I mean, seriously, they don't understand English properly. And you have to be really slow when you tell them um something that you want uh and listen to them really carefully because they also go really slow with their english and uh yeah their very broken english goes like uh okay it's a little difficult and always always and that's a must have a google translator with yourself if you don't understand or they don't understand write it on google translate and uh, you know show it to them and they'll be able to guide you so that is a must and always have google maps with you baap re mere ko to bacha liya google maps ne so always have a google maps have the local map with you uh, and you get them in most of the hotels or places you stay they always have the local map of the city so you always carry that have google maps and have a google translator so important okay number 3 there currency is such a confusion okay so their denominations are pretty confusing they have notes of 50000 1 lakh uh 2 lakhs 5 lakhs 10 lakhs you will trust me get confused between a 50000 note and a 5 lakh note so please 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 check before you pay at any place and check your um, notes properly before giving it uh they also okay so at the moment that i'm shooting and i don't know this is um at the moment then that will release so 1 lakh uh, uh of their local currency is equal to 350 rupees so that is how you convert and that's how you should make sure that you go by also keep uh sure that when you exchange money there you have to, don't go to don't ask the hotel or something to exchange money for you always go uh, to the local money exchangers or even you can go to the bank they'll give you a good exchange so that's like a very important thing you should make sure also even at the airport you don't get a good exchange so you can kind of come to the local you know market and there are a lot of money exchangers so you will never have a problem in doing that okay so that I've come to the number four, I think, right? So number four is food. Okay, this one's really important for anyone who's a vegetarian, also people who really have a certain taste bud. For Indian uh, taste buds, Vietnamese food is like. I'll tell you why. Okay, just listen to this carefully. I don't know why they don't put salt in their food. Baap re, me to pagal ho gayi. Matlab. वो नमक ही नहीं डालते एंड देन यू हैव टू कीप एडिंग सोया सॉस एंड चिली सॉस टू काइंड ऑफ यू नो मेक इट टू योर टेस्ट एंड यू आर लाइक हेलो क्या करे एंड इफ यू आर अ फैन ऑफ हनी देन वियतनामीज फूड विल बी योर फेवरेट दे पुट हनी इन एवरीथिंग आई मीन एवरीथिंग टू द टी एंड आई एम जस्ट लाइक क्यू यार बाई क्यू ओके एंड देर लोकल फूड आई मीन देर staple diet is a lot of noodles they use a lot of glass noodles soupy glass noodles with meat so if you are a vegetarian um you have to look for restaurants that serve vegetarian food and i'll put a link in the description below where uh, which will help you locate for vegetarian restaurants in and around um the city so that will really really help you when you go there the other thing is 
if you ever order for stir fried vegetables you will get boiled vegetables and i'm not joking about this anywhere you go you say you want stir fried vegetables they will give you boiled vegetables in the name of that so don't be like ye kya de diya or oh my god what is this so no no don't even do that and uh, yeah so that's pretty much in terms of food you have to be really careful of what you are eating and what is coming to your table because they kind of really mess it up and especially when you order tell them to add salt to your food oh that you have to tell them please add salt and uh, tell them choose foods that are on the spicier side because they generally use a lot of honey glazing honey like i'm not joking i know i'm repeating this but then it's a must so that is something that is very important another thing okay so i'll come to the next point now is that this city uh, i mean this country is a land of coffee and beers okay and uh, they all will always serve you black tea in the name of tea so if you're a tea lover please carry your tea bags and your milk from home if you ask them for milk they will give you condensed milk which is ugh, yuck So imagine having black tea with condensed milk. Uh, okay, personally, I'm not a big fan of it. I know I'm making faces for these things, but trust me, I did not like the tea at all. I'm personally a coffee lover, so I enjoyed black coffee. So you have to when whenever you go to Vietnam, you have to try the black coffee there. They serve cold iced black coffee. and they serve hot coffee hot black coffee so you have to try the cold one i personally loved it and uh, baki to everyone's personal choice you see theek hai so that is another one uh uske alawa okay ha huh. so this one's very important are baap re last wala okay this one please ye to dekh lena so do not talk to strangers and do not even smile at them i'm telling you especially okay I'm talking about local strangers. I'm not talking about tourists and all. Tourists, you can smile and all. It's sweet, but do not talk to uh, locals. You know what they do? I'll tell you my experience, okay? And ये बहुत बार हो चुका है in the whole trip. So vendors क्या करते हैं? ये जो street vendors, they will, uh, they have these uh, foods that they sell, like some meat, meat or some something they'll have, okay? Basically, uh, some uh, उनका local जो भी they will just put it in your hand or uske baad they they'll be like now pay for it are jab humko chahiye hi nahi hum wapas de rahe hain humko nahi chahiye zabardasti they will put it in your hand and then they'll ask you to pay for it ek to language is such a big problem to oh baap re and then they will start screaming at you and in their own language it's very scary so do not do not do not even interact with these local vendors it's a big no no एंड हाँ तो बस बेसिकली यही इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज थी जो बहुत मतलब मुझे पर्सनली अफेक्ट हो गई तो आई विल नेवर गो बाय दैट ओके सो दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे वीडियो आई होप यू इंजॉयड माई लिल टिप्स ऑन हाउ टू इंजॉय वियतनाम दी सेवन टिप्स प्लीज कीप इन माइंड वेन यू आर इन वियतनाम एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एंड ऑल्सो बिकॉज टिकट्स आर सो चीप They are even cheaper than going to Goa. Trust me on this. If you ever check the tickets, I will keep this for the next video of how I budgeted my Vietnam trip and where all I went. And I'm also putting up vlogs of the different cities I went to and what all I did. So this could be an itinerary, future itinerary for you guys. So that's it for today's vlog. I hope you keep this with you, share it with your friends, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I love you. And I'll see you next week.